Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about one more method through which we can handle the errors in RPG Lib program. So here I have created that program. So let's go through the program. So here we are writing the code in fully free format. And uh, as usual, we are de uh, declaring the two control option, no debug IO and SRC STMT. Now below to that, we have declared a uh, few variables for the demonstration of that process. So on line number 14, uh, we have declared number one variable of size two and we have initialized that. Similarly, we have declared number two and result variable. Now below to that and main logic, what we are doing, we are assigning some values to this number one and number two variable, uh, which is 20 and five. Now what we will do, we will try to generate some error on these variable and then we will handle or capture that error. Okay, so how to do this? So here we are using the monitor block. So monitor block is mainly used for the error handling purpose. So what you need to do where like whatever the uh, statement in which you think like error can occur, you can keep this uh, that is statement inside the monitor block. So here we are what we are doing on line number 25th with we, we are dividing number one with number two. So suppose if I divide 20 with zero, then for sure it will give the error for uh, system error divide by zero so we know that uh, it might uh, result as a error system error so that's why i'm keeping this inside the monitor block so monitor block start with the monitor then after that we will handle all the error category wise like here i'm using on error at this so this is the zero divide by zero error message id so that you can find out from internet or ibm officials website like which uh, error, error ID will generate for a particular message or error message. Okay, so I have searched and find that this is the 0, 00102 is the error ID that will occur whenever there is an issue with of uh, divide by 0. So I have mentioned it similarly 103 is for the error due to the size. So I have mentioned that okay because we uh, this case we will see in um, another example for now we are just discussing out this statement okay so similarly you can if you want to handle few more errors so you can put all those situation here like on error and then that message id which you want to error handle now on line number 30 we are ending this and monitor block so i'm using and mon so now what will happen it will divide the number 20 with 5 in this case it will not give any error because it is a normal flow so it will directly skip these lines and directly display the output let's see so compile and call yeah so we got the four which is correct because it is not giving any kind of error now we will generate the error so to generate the error i am assigning zero to number two in this case it will for sure result in error so it goes and it shows divide by zero error and if i hit enter it shows result is zero because after handling the error we are processing the further lines why it gives error because we are dividing 20 with zero so that's why it handles the error and it checks okay so this error id is generated so that's why it go inside this line number 28 and display this message okay so that's how we can capture this divide by zero error so this is the one way now we will try to do some more example here so let's comment out this line and i am generating another error by assigning some value so number two equals to 500 okay so why this will give error because the variable size length is two and we are assigned assigning three digit number to it so if you check number two is two digit sign value but we are assigning 500 so for sure it will come an error but this error will not come this is mainly for the divide by zero this time it this occur uh, this error will occur zero zero one zero three and we will give we will populate it with this message so let's compile and see shows error due to size okay so in this way you can categorize the error and you can capture the error or exception with the help of monitor block okay 
so yeah that's the way through which we can handle the error like in uh, previous session we discussed also about the star pssr way through which we can uh, perform the error handling so this is the another way in pssr it will take uh, the flow directly to the pssr uh, routine whenever the error occur but here we will capture those uh, like we will keep all, all those lines inside that monitor block which may come which may generate error so these are the lines i know that it might come up with some error that's why i keep this line inside the monitor block so it will check only for these lines not for the other lines suppose if this line is written before that though then in that case it will give error but if it is inside the monitor block then it will not give error it will provide the generic term or generic error so yeah that's all how we will handle or uh, error or exception so yeah that's it uh, in the next session we will learn about few more things so thank you for watching texture method